Hey y'all, I'm back to share another haul. So, you know, that doesn't go in there. Um, my desk is kind of messy right now because I just finished some crafting. So I want to share with you some purchases that I made um, that have come in and let me get started. Um, so first I got this um, Inky Antics stamp from Tammy DeYoung. This was purchased off of eBay, I believe. Um, 11151 MC Flower Chick. I don't know if this is still available, but I know I purchased mine uh, secondhand. It doesn't look like it's ever been used, though, so there you go. Um, I did get some unmounted rubber stamps, and these are snowmen. Yeah, these are all snowmen. Um, so there's this green one with there's a row of snowmen. There's these skinny snowmen right here. Um, there's this tall skinny snowman right here with a hat and a very long nose. And then there's this one. Uh, it's a, this is a couple. I think it's a maybe a mom and a little kid snowman. And they're wearing scarves and she's got a hat on. She's He's got a little beanie. Um, these are all unmounted. So, not worried about, you know, stamping because I can put them on some cling. Alright, so those are it. I got this one, which is a Hero Arts. It is Christmas, Birdhouses, and Snowman. You can see the little guy down, or little lady down there at the bottom. This little snowman right here. I might have this one. I'm not sure. This is a Savvy Stamps. Really cute. Um, a snow woman. She has high heels on. GE Stamp Works. And then I got this <laughs> Inky Antics set. Uh, I believe this is Inky Antics. <laughs> I want to get, I wanted to use this with a, a colored image I have. Um, I've got these. They all came together in a set. Um, they're like little hanging um, things that you can put like on um, some of the furniture pieces that I have, the stamps that I have. So I want to use those or even a fence or something like that. This little basket of flowers. This is a PSX. I don't know. Oh, wait. This, these are Darcy Hunters. These um, right here. These are all Darcy stamps. Um, this one is a Annette Allen Watkins from 1992. A little basket of flowers. This one right here. I don't think I showed you this. Um, this is... Is this Imaginations? Annette Allen Watkins, 1995. And then this big one is a Northwoods. Doesn't have a year. No, 2012. Whoa! 2012. So... I got those, and then my big purchase that Anna made me do it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she enabled me to do it. Um, I went over and purchased a bunch of stamps from the Stamp Peddler on Etsy. I don't know if they still have these available. And many of them I didn't stamp out because they don't have the... Um... These are all the different accessory um, stamps for the kitchen. Uh pieces. I'm going to stamp them so I can put a little uh, index inside. But I'm going to store them all together because this is crazy. I'm not going to store little bags of stamps. So there's like a cookie jars. There's a little chicken. This is number nine. This one's number five. This one has a loaf of bread with two couple of slices. And then there's a pie, cherries, I don't know what everything... That looks like a bowl with some crackers, maybe. A slice of pie with whipped cream. And then maybe an apple. You can see what this is because it's stamped out. And these guys, super cute. Candy from Stranger Snow. They sent me um, 
ginger and cinnamon tea. And then there's the teapot. Anna showed this one. She actually showed most of these. I don't think she showed these, but all the kitchen ones she showed. Um, I bought an extra one. I got this guy. These are all cling, so this is a shelf. You can put some of this stuff on the shelf. Um, table. A little note from them. Here's the, st the shop, if you're wondering. That's the shop. Um, number 10 was crock pots. Uses three different size crock pots, I think. Sorry, I'm trying to move them around so you can actually see them all. Sorry for the glare. <clears throat> okay, so this one has a little, um, like a arched window sort of thing, like a plaque. There's a little heart that has plaid in it, plaid heart. Um, another little decorative piece here. And what are these two things? I'm not prepared. That's a lamp. And that looks like, um, a blanket. Or some sort of, you know, napkin or something like that folded over. I've got a big box, guys. Sorry. This is another snowman. Here we go doing the splits. No. Um, it's bunnies and squirrels on either side of him. Not doing the splits, apparently. That's a blanket. And then there's two other things in here. Maybe those are brooms. I, I don't know. Number four. The way they sold these was like individually like this. Oh yeah. A broom? I don't know what this is called. You guys can tell me. Can you see it? never had one of those. I don't know what it's called. Okay, candy from strangers. I think this is a Dove chocolate, by the way. So we got some um, little utensils for like um, fireplace utensils, sort of. These are freebies, by the way. I didn't order these. Little cake. Oh, cauldron. Not a cauldron. Oh, I guess it could be a cauldron. You could put it in a, a fireplace. Or on a stove, I guess. That would be heavy to pick it up. There's a jar of flowers. A bottle of... I can't read it. Um, I'm not sure what this is. This... I, I At first I thought it was like a knife or something like that, but I'm not sure. I'll have to stamp it out. This says recipes. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's upside down. It's a pot. And then a little cow? Maybe? I don't know. It's a little animal with spots. And then there's a bowl with a heart in it. I'm getting there. I did order a lot. This was a big order, even though it doesn't look like it. The chicken basket. Yes, the chicken basket with eggs. All right, rolling pin, cheese grater, another bowl with a heart. Maybe that's bigger than the other one. Yes, it is. It's a different size. A measuring um, cup, uh, beaters, mixer, whatever, the old hand crank kind, some um, measuring spoons, and then what else is this back here? Oh, a utensil caddy with some utensils in it. See, there's a whole bunch of stuff to sit on the countertop or shelves. There's a little oil lamp, uh, two little hearts dangling down. I don't know what this round thing is. Oh, it looks like a bonnet that you'd like to, you could hang it on the wall. Um, birdhouse, little houses. Like little salt box houses that you could put on a shelf. That looks like a candle. 
Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> that looks like another animal. Maybe that is a cow. I'm not sure. Like little tchotchkes you can put on the shelf. We have all kinds of that in my house. That's what happens when you have a husband that collects things. Jars of things. I don't know what each one is, but they're jars. And then there's a sentiment here. No, no matter where I... I don't know what that word is. Something my... I don't know. I'll have to stamp it out. There's another jar facing the other direction. A container of something. I don't know what that is. There's a dangling star. Um, another thing that dangles down. These look like candlesticks that you, you know, th they're held together by the wick. And you would cut them apart to use them. That's what it looks like to me. A bouquet of flowers. And then teapot, teacup, a mug. That looks like a plate. Another teacup or mug. What is that other circle? Maybe another plate with a different design. Yeah, it has a different design. This one has roses. The other one has hearts. And let me see. I think that's it except for this one. And this one has a thing of candy, like um, peppermint sticks. That looks like a, a jar of bubblegum gumballs or something. And then, I don't know what that is. Oh, cookies. It's a plate of cookies. There is a gingerbread on it. Um, that looks like a plate, like a Christmas plate, because it's got like a Christmas tree in the middle. And that's it. So yeah, big order of stamps. I'm not going to store them in the bags. I'm going to store them on something like this. I don't know if you can see it. I've got this plastic folder. Um, see, it's, it's a clear plastic folder that I purchased a long time back that is actually meant to hold cling stamps. You can see I've got my wheels, my Stampin' Up! wheels unmounted here, or some of them, because I was working on it. But they're not sticky, so they're not going to stick to this. But that's what I'm, this is what I'm going to use for storing these. And then I'll put it in a um, stuffed tanner. So that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Sorry this video was so long. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.